Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are hauling uh, some fertilizer in a not very interesting trailer, unfortunately. And as you can see, we have the Peterbilt, and we are in... Where are we here? Uh, we're going from Carson City down to San Rafael. Uh, so, our current trip will take us all the way around here. Um, to a place I haven't been to, apparently, so... That's going to be kind of cool, so I guess I didn't even intend that. That was just fluke luck. Anyways, uh, so it's only... Does it say how many kilometers it is? No, it doesn't. That's a stream. I don't know why it doesn't say it here, but anyways. Um, <laughs> there are a few kilometers to do. Not too many. I think it's about... Uh, yeah, it's 600, so not too crazy. So, Anyways, let's get started. We don't need that up. There we go. Perfect. And let's bring this up because that's always helpful. There we go. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. Enjoying a lovely day. It's funny, I've been driving these really, really long trailers. So this trailer seems super, super short in comparison. Um, I don't, it's, it's funny because like every trailer I've driven in the last little while has been like, 54 foot trailer somewhere in that area and they've all been really interesting this trailer is like super short in comparison doesn't mean I won't have troubles with it apparently though there we go perfect this is 89 kilometers an hour that's perfect but are you still enjoying American Truck Simulator? Are you still loving the game or have you stopped playing it now? I know some people have kind of stopped playing it already because there's just not enough for them to do. Which is understandable, you know. You get into a situation where you want to do something else in the game, but there's not a whole lot else you can do. Like, you can drive around the same places again. But, um... Some people just don't want to do that. Like, I know, for example, Farmer Beavis. Um, there's a couple things that kind of make him not like it a little bit right now. Uh, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. 95, there we go. And it's primarily due to the fact that... Uh, we can go to 120 here. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's primarily due to the fact that um, you can't customize your truck as much as you'd like. Uh, as much as he would like. And I feel the same way. Because you, in this game, you can't really customize a whole lot in comparison to what you could do in ETS at the end. So it kind of feels like you're in a truck, but it's a very generic truck. Um, whereas, you know, in ETS, you could customize it a lot more. So that was pretty neat. So... It's a bit unfortunate that we don't have the same uh, customization available in this game. I'm sure it'll come eventually, but right now we definitely don't have it, um, which is a bit unfortunate. So, All in due time, I suppose, right? All in due time. But, you know, for now, you're we're just we're living, with what, we're living with what we got so far in this game. Uh, we don't have a crazy amount yet, but... Uh, 30, there we go. Uh, we don't have a crazy amount yet, but we have, you know, a fair amount. Uh, it makes it interesting, keeps it interesting for the time being, but not interesting for everybody, so. For those people who put a lot of hours into the game, they probably feel like uh, they're done with it for the time being until something new comes out. But ETS is kind of different, though, because, like, even though, like, there's a, oh, this is probably not 130 in here. Yikes. Um, ETS I still feel like there's lots of stuff I still haven't explored in ETS yet. Um, so I could easily just go back and start driving in that game without a problem, basically. Whereas this game, it feels like, you know, I haven't, I've haven't. i seen most things already. Like, considering the fact that I haven't really played this game, like, super intensely, um, and I've already seen, like, 70% of the map, it's, you know, kind of makes you like, go like, huh. So, there may be some ETS videos in the future again. Um, really, buddy? Why did you get in the... Uh, why did you get in this lane if you're going to slow down? Come on, now. And then you speed up. I don't understand. I have no idea. Yes, thank you. Get in the right lane. Jeez. Anyways, so yeah. There are a few mods, um, but nothing too crazy. I think there's a few map mods out, but I haven't tried them yet. Um, and I may have to try them just because... It, uh, I do feel a little bit uh, limited at the moment in comparison to ETS. Uh, well, that was to be expected, though. 
I guess the states change here and that's why we're slowing down. I don't understand these people. Like, they're slowing down for no apparent reason here. Uh, they should be going faster than I am. Like, I'm in a truck and I'm doing 130. Uh, but they're going slower than me still, I don't understand. Uh, because I have a setup so it shows me the uh, truck speed limit, not the car speed limit. So I'm, I can only assume this car speed limit's faster. Um, but it's not. It doesn't seem that way. Uh, yeah, this is our exit. Let's slow down here a little bit. Why is he turning? Ah, oh, that was painful. Really, buddy? This is what happens. It's my own fault. I should have been a bit more careful about it. But I don't know why he was turning right and in the left lane. Like, that's the, that's what doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> uh, how much did I hurt by the trailer? 4%. Thanks a lot, buddy. I thought he was turning left. Apparently he wasn't. Oh, well. Part of the AI. I haven't seen any AI tweaks actually, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there are some in ETS, I believe, um, but I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen any for ATS yet. No, not yet actually, which is kind of surprising. Um, but I don't know why that guy was in the left lane turning right, or maybe it's just one lane and that's the why. But still, like if you're turning right, you should be all over to the right, not to the left. I've seen people do that, and that's how you create accidents in real life, very easily. Of course, if you're a trucker in real life, you probably wouldn't be driving as recklessly as that, I would expect. Actually, you know what I'm going to do right now, just to f prevent myself from making any further mistakes? Let's go ahead, not in control, Z, in, in gameplay. Let's go to gameplay and traffic offenses. You can actually take traffic offenses off now, which is kind of funny. Uh, truck speed limiter. There we go. So that'll limit me to the maximum tolerated speed so then we don't have any situations like that I don't know what the actual speed is um, it might be 90 but I don't think it's 90 because I'm still going over 90 maybe it's a hundred and then hopefully in the future we can prevent that from happening in the first place let's put it up to 110 and see if we can actually get up to 110 or if it's gonna stop us before we get to 110 nope uh -huh. no nope. we're still going over a hundred I thought 100 was going to be the limit there. I don't know if there is a limit on in Ontario or not. Um, I think... I don't think there is. But I am not certain. If you're a trucker in Ontario, and you know the answer to that question, let me know. I'm kind of curious now. Leave a comment below with what, what it actually is. Here it is 130 again. I don't know. It's funny because what happens is like the trucks... Like the... Uh, the cars will like slow down at random points. Maybe it looks like it's 105. Looks like 105. But we are going semi uphill. So there's that. That's from the mod we added uh, not too long ago, the Sprite truck. So that's part of the trailers pack that adds a whole bunch of uh, brand name trailers. So like Sprite, Coca Cola, Pepsi's also in here. Uh, the Shell trailers, of course, we have. And then we have this fertilizer trailer. Oh, we need to go into the way station. What? I was slowing down. Jeez. Got a ticket for slowing down coming into the way station. <laughs> Man, sometimes in this game it's just like, really? Really? This is what's, this is what's going to happen, is it? All right, now let's put our indicator on and see if someone's going to let us in. No, we're good. Can't believe that. I don't know why that window's staying up. Close. There we go. How many kilometers do we have left anyways? 300. Not too much. Not too much at all. So we're going to cross into the California area soon in the, ga in the game. And uh, then you'll see the speed limits change quite a bit. For whatever reason, in Nevada, the speed limits are super, super high. And then in California, they're a bit more like 
in line with what we see here in Canada. So I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, it's something. All right. There we go. Let's see what happens. So we have it set to 110 again. So we may or may not get up to 110. I don't know. Uh, I put the speed limiter on, so maybe 105 is the cap. I don't know. And I don't know. If, maybe it'll change from state to state. All right, let's see. I have my foot down. I should be going faster. Yeah, it looks like it's 105. That's a good speed. It's not too fast that uh, you're being reckless like I have been in the last little while. Uh, that's why my insurance in the game has gone up. Anyways, one sec, coffee break. But it's funny, they have the whole like insurance system in the game. So like, you see your the cost you have to pay slowly go up and up if you get into a lot of accidents like I have as of recently and that's primarily because I have been kind of driving a little strange a little bit uh, more aggressive than I should be but I do like the sunsets and sunrises in this game it's gorgeous they did a fantastic job what? did the speed limit change? oh yeah it did alright fine you got me Put down to 95 so that obviously we're in uh, California now and uh, maybe a sign I totally missed but I was looking at the sunset I guess but uh, they won't uh, if you're doing 95 uh, in an 89 zone in kilometers of course uh, they won't they won't ticket you it seems like which is nice at least that's, that's been my experience so far it seemed to be but between like six and seven degree variance so we'll have to see this trailer. It really doesn't look very nice at all. In comparison to some of the other trailers I've seen, this one's not a nice looking trailer. Uh, some of the other ones are like really nice looking and this one is not so much. So I guess in the United States there is a cap of 105. But I think, I, I want to say it's from state to, it changes from state to state. Because uh, in the United States I believe the rules are a bit more not strict, but governed by the individual state, as far as I know. Hit the off ramp. There you go. I thought I was going to have to change lanes there for a second. It's funny. Uh, this little clover setup we have up here in the highway, I've actually used those in um, City Skylines, and apparently they don't appear to be that efficient in City Skylines. Because what happens is, for whatever reason, the traffic will go like in circles. Sometimes it's really strange. I don't understand why the traffic does it sometimes, but uh, they, for whatever reason, decide like, "Oh, I need to turn around." I'm like, "Let's go to the highway and then turn around and go in the opposite direction again." I'm like, "What on earth?" And it's happened more than once, so it's not just a fluke scenario. So it's kind of confusing actually, because when you see it, you're like, "Wait a minute! Like, why is that car going in that and then going out in the opposite direction?" I'm like, "Okay." But what ends up happening is if you don't have that loop around sometimes, they'll just like drive like halfway around the map to go in the opposite direction, which is not, not optimal either, so. Let's put our lights on here. Do I have my lights on? Yeah. This is good. This is very good. But I do admit, this game driving at night is actually quite nice. Let's get in the right lane here. This is our turn coming up apparently. Uh, driving in this game is quite nice actually. It looks like they did a really good job. In my opinion, at least. There we go. See, if you have the space, you can slow down like all the way using your engine brake. But as soon as there's a car there, it like, it takes the whole ramp to like slow down. I discovered. But as soon as there's a car there, you can't do it. And then you run into problems, basically. So it's a bit unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. You have to kind of adjust as necessary so now is this the little stretch of road I've never been on before no I don't think so I think it's coming up here around the corner we're turning right again okay but I've seen some really nice screenshots of this game at night and uh, they do they, I don't know the sun, sunset sunrises look fantastic uh, do you agree let me know 
This is our turn here. There we go. And this is the little stretch, I believe, that we've never been on before. Yeah. So we'll just make sure we go around in a circle and just might as well explore the rest of that. Not that it makes a big difference, but... We will explore because we can. Because we're already here. Some people will actually go out of their way to, like, go onto these roads. Um, like, they'll, like, port themselves down, like, through the console commands and then explore it. I haven't done... Uh, no, I haven't done that yet. There's a fuel, looks like. Is that just a rest stop? No, it's a way station. Or no, that's a rest stop. Yeah. Parking lot with nobody there, apparently. Put our high beams on now that we're in the country here. There we go. Excellent. Uh, it's funny, I switched the parking selection to the safe parking because experience isn't needed as much now. It's not as a, of dire consequence. And I think, in my mind at least, this is if you... Uh, the more trips you get, the more trips you do, I should say, the more experience you make. And I think it takes longer for me to park than it does to just drive, so to speak. So, like... I get more experience from just taking the safe parking and then taking it out to drop quickly. At least that's my idea. Now, where is the safe parking in this time? It looks like it wants me to go around. And, no, I don't want to skip the parking. I just want to see where the actual parking spot is. Oh, it is like that. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Jeez. Apparently I went just a little bit too far there. Perfect. Satisfactory. Oh, that must have been from that weird turn I took. Whoops. Nice. All right, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Another episode of American Truck Simulator. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more American Truck Simulator. My name is Ian Robson, and I'll catch you guys later.